Hey guys, it's Sarah with ExtremeTerrain.com and today we have a review and install of the Barricade HD rear bumper fitting your 2020 and newer Jeep Gladiator models. This is perfect for the Gladiator owner who wants a budget-friendly upgrade for their rear bumper and wants one that includes mounting points for the addition of lighting as well as two extra recovery points. This bumper features heavy-duty plate steel construction with a nice textured black powder coat finish. It also features mounting points for lighting in several places on this bumper and two additional recovery points that you can add D-rings to. It also includes housings to add your factory license plate lights as well as your hitch plug and also includes mounting points for your backup sensors if you have them. And as far as price goes, this bumper comes in at around $525, which is on the lower end price-wise when compared to other options. And for your money, you are getting a full-width steel rear bumper that also includes mounting points for lighting, D-rings, and works with all of your factory components. And as far as the install goes, I'm giving this one a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. It does feature a direct bolt-up install with no modification required and can be done within two hours. So with that said, let's check out that install. For this install, we used an impact gun and an electric ratchet, but a regular hand ratchet will work just fine. You'll also need an 18 millimeter wrench, a flathead screwdriver, a pop clip removal tool or a trim panel removal tool, and 10, 16, 18, and 21 millimeter sockets. Now the first step in your uninstall is to remove the actual license plate. Now this hardware here holding on your license plate can vary. Ours is a 10, so we're gonna grab a 10 millimeter socket and remove both of these bolts. Now you'll see two bolts behind your license plate. Grab a 16 millimeter socket and get these removed. Now we're underneath our bumper and we're gonna start by disconnecting our trailer plug here. All you need to do is press down on this connector and pull it back to release it. Now you wanna disconnect at least one Christmas tree clip that's holding on this harness to the bumper. Using a pop clip removal tool, we're gonna go ahead and remove this one. And disconnect any that are still on the bumper. You can leave any that are on the frame. Next up, we do need to disconnect this main connector for the lights on your bumper. I'm using a small flathead here, you can also use your finger. As long as you pull that red tab backwards, you'll see the black part of the tab here. You just need to press down on that and then pull back to release the connector. Now this part of the connector is going to be going with the bumper. So you wanna make sure to look for any Christmas tree clips on the frame like this one right here and remove it. All you're gonna do is grab a pop clip removal tool. And remove it out of the frame so this part can go with the bumper. Now we can disconnect the bumper from the frame. You're gonna see two studs with two nuts on either side of the frame. Go ahead and grab a 16 millimeter socket. And remove both of these nuts. Now you wanna repeat that on the other side. Now make sure your bumper is supported and that you're very careful if you're underneath it as these are the last two nuts holding it on. And now that all the hardware is removed from the bumper, you can grab it and pull it straight back towards you to remove it off your truck. And now that we have our factory bumper uninstalled from our truck, we can check it out side by side with our new bumper here. Now the biggest difference between these two is the construction. This new one features a plate steel construction, which is gonna be much beefier than the plastic of your factory. It also features a nice textured black powder coat finish to give it more of an aftermarket look. Now it also allows you to keep all of your factory features like your license plate lights, backup sensors if you have them, and your trailer plug. 
It also features brackets to allow you to add some lighting in the center and sides here. It does not allow you to keep your factory tow hook, but gives you options to add some D-rings on either side as well. So with that said, let's go ahead and finish up our install. Now we cannot use the factory tow hook for this new bumper, so we do need to remove it. There are two 21 millimeter bolts holding it on, so grab a 21 millimeter socket and let's get these removed. Now we have our factory bumper here. We do need to remove a few things and transfer it over to the new bumper. We're gonna start with the wiring harness. Now you've already popped two of these pop clips out before we pulled this off your truck. So we're just gonna go down the line with a pop clip removal tool. You can also use a flathead if you don't have one of these. And pop the rest of these pop clips out so the wiring harness is no longer attached to the bumper. Now that the wiring harness is disconnected, disconnect the clips going to your license plate lights. Go ahead and press down on the black tab and pull back to remove it. Repeat that on the other side. And now we can pop the license plate light out. Now that we have the wiring harness removed, we can remove the light itself. Now to do that, we need to release several tabs. There's one tab on the bottom of the light here, but you also need to release two tabs. There's one up here, and there's one at the bottom. There's actually two more on the other side, but you can release this with just these two up here. This does get a little bit tricky, so what we're gonna do is just pry up, either with a small flathead or a plastic tool, either way. And you just wanna pry on these as you're pushing out. Now at the same time, you want to release this tab down the bottom here. We're going to use a plastic tool here so we don't damage it. Let's go ahead and press that in. You'll see it release. And then as we're pushing forward, let's go ahead and pry this plastic tab up. All you need to really do is get it to sit on top of that ledge. And if it clicked back in place while you're doing this, just go ahead and release it again. Now more likely than not, all three of these plastic pieces are going to come out, but you will get the light out as well. And you have these two auxiliary pieces. Those are the tabs that we popped out. And now you can repeat that on the other side. Now the last thing we'll be removing here is the trailer plug. You'll see two metal tabs on the back. All you need to do is by hand or with a tool, I'm using a flathead here, just press those tabs in. And with a little pressure, you can pop it forward. Now we have our new bumper here. We're gonna start by plugging back in this trailer plug. Go ahead and get it lined up and then just pop it in place. Now we can get the license plate lights installed. We're just taking the light itself. We're not reusing those plastic housings. Go ahead and get it lined up. Make sure you're watching that plug. You might have to angle it in. And once you line up the tabs, just press it in place. And now repeat that on the other side. Now that we have those two license plate lights installed, we can reinstall the wiring harness. 
Now we're on the other side of the bumper, so just double check that you have these on the proper side. Remember that your main plug is on your driver's side. Go ahead and press those in. Line up and press in the clip on the other side. And make sure you secure this up with a few zip ties and it's not hanging down or getting pinched during the install. Now, if your bumper is equipped with parking sensors, now is the time that you install those right into these brackets here. If you're like us and you do not have parking sensors in your bumper, you'll install these plugs instead. Go ahead and line them up through these brackets and wiggle them in place. And now we do need to install these bolt plates through the back of your bumper. Go ahead and line it up with the two holes in the bumper. And to secure them, we have these plastic washers. And basically, they're just, they're just gonna retain these bolt plates in place while we get them bolted up to your truck. Now, same process, repeat that on the other side. Now we can get our brackets bolted up to the truck. These are side specific, so make sure you're grabbing the proper side for what you're working on. We have the driver's side here. So we're gonna get lined up to the top of the frame of your truck and start to install our hardware. We're using a hex bolt with a washer and a lock washer, as well as another washer with a nut on the other side. Repeat that with your second mounting point. This one might be a little bit harder to get to, so if you can't quite get your hand up in the frame, you can use a socket with an extension, and that should help you line it up. Now repeat that on the other side. We are going to leave this hardware just hand tight for now, and we'll tighten it up once the bumper is on the truck. Now at this point we can get our bumper installed. You may want a friend to help you line this up, but go ahead and grab the bumper and get the studs lined up in the frame as well as on top of your bracket. Now we're gonna go underneath our bumper to get it bolted down. Keep in mind to have it supported if you are gonna go underneath it, and then we're gonna attach our hardware to these two studs that are poking through. Grab a washer, a lock washer, and a nut.
get it installed over both of the bolts on your bolt plate. Now we have one more hex bolt. There is a hole right behind here. This is a little bit hard to see. We're gonna line it up with the hole in the bumper as well as a hole in the top of that bracket that we previously installed. We have a washer and a lock washer on the bolt side. We're also gonna use a nut and a washer on the other side. Now we want to install one more hex bolt through the bracket on your bumper into the bracket that we previously installed on the frame. Now we're using a hex bolt with a washer and a washer on the other side as well as a lock washer and a nut. We're using a washer and a lock washer on the nut side. You want to do that whenever you can to help with bolt engagement. Now that everything is attached, we can get these nuts tightened down. Go ahead and grab your 18 millimeter socket, and you wanna make sure your bumper is adjusted to the height that you'd like it at, and tighten these down. Now we can tighten up the bolts going from the frame to the bracket. Grab an 18 millimeter wrench up top and an 18 millimeter socket on the bottom. You may want a small extension and tighten these down. Repeat that for the bolt right next to it. This one might be a little bit harder to get onto just because of its location. It's a little farther back on the frame. Go ahead and tighten it down. Now we have one more bolt to tighten down. That's that through bolt between the bumper and the bracket. Grab your 18 millimeter socket and an 18 millimeter wrench. And tighten that down. Now you can repeat that on the other side. As always, before there is hardware attaching your bumper, you want to be very careful about going underneath it. And now that your bumper is fully bolted up, you can reconnect that trailer hitch plug. Make sure that clicks in place. And you wanna replace those two pop clips going into your frame as well. And now you can line up and reconnect the connector for your license plate lights. Make sure you press down on the red tab. And then you want to reattach all of the pop clips to secure this back up. Now you won't be able to reattach the rest of your pop clips to this new bumper. I recommend grabbing a zip tie or two and just securing this up out of the way of anything hot, moving, or sharp. And now we can install these plastic clips for our license plate bolts. Go ahead and line them up in the bumper and just press them in place.
Now you can grab your license plate, line it up with those two holes, and reinstall your factory hardware. Now again, this can differ between vehicles. Ours are a 10 millimeter, so we're gonna grab a 10 millimeter socket and tighten them down. All right, so that is gonna do it for the review and install of this bumper. And remember, for all things Gladiator, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.